Okay, let's talk about the Praxis Middle School Math Exam, and that's uh, test code 5164. And because you're watching this video, I'm going to assume that you are preparing to take this exam, and that is fantastic, as we definitely need as many uh, great teachers as we possibly can muster in this country. And of course, math being my favorite topic, I'm especially excited that you are uh, watching this video. And uh, what I have for you here is a practice prom that you should be able to handle without too much difficulty if you are fully prepared for the Praxis uh, Middle School Math uh, Exam uh, 5164. So I'm going to show you the answer to this uh, problem, and of course I'm going to walk through the solution step by step. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and of course, I know what it's like to take certification exams to include the Praxis exams, and uh, these are not easy exams, right? There's a lot of material on uh, these um, uh, particular exams. Now, of course, this is the middle school exam. There is another exam for high school, but you're going to have to know a lot of high school um, uh math to include advanced high school level mathematics. Now over the years I've constructed many uh, courses uh, to include a test prep course for this particular exam. I'm going to leave the link to it in the description of this video so you can check that out if you like. But uh, let's go ahead and get into the prom here. Now um, the course what I have here is what? Well these are complex numbers so I have negative uh, 5 minus i times negative uh, 2 plus 2i. Now, if you want to pause the video and work on this, this should take you uh, all of about 30 seconds to do. I'm going to show you the uh, correct answer here in just one second, but just to give you an opportunity to pause the video if you want to uh, work this out real quick. Okay, so let's go take a look at the solution here. If you did this right, this is the correct answer. So we have 12 minus uh, 8i or 12 plus negative 8i. Of course, those are equivalent answers. So if you got that, um, if you got this little problem uh, correct, that's outstanding. But in terms of level of difficulty, I would say that this is not all that difficult. But anyways, uh, good job if you got it right. If you didn't get this right, just use this as feedback in terms of um, what you need to review. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. So of course we are multiplying two complex numbers. So let me just do a quick, quick review. As you uh, well know or should know, uh, you're dealing with two different uh, number systems at your level of math, right? In terms of the level of math that you're going to be teaching. So we have the real number system, and then as you get into more advanced mathematics, especially in high school level math, you start uh, working with the complex number system, which of course deals with the imaginary numbers. And imaginary numbers are written in the form of A plus BI, where here we have a real number component, and then here we have an imaginary number component. So just a quick review. And what we're doing here is multiplying two complex numbers, right? So how do we do this? Well, this is not that difficult. Basically, you just want to use the FOIL technique. Uh, now, if you uh, forgot what the FOIL technique is, that's just that first, outer, inner, last. But basically, that's just a little acronym to multiply two binomials, okay? So whether you use FOIL or some other method, it's basically uh, taking the uh, same steps, okay? So we have a binomial here and a binomial here effectively, and we're going to multiply those binomials. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll just use the FOIL acronym because that's something you'll definitely be teaching, you know, in terms of basic algebra. So the FOIL um, acronym, again, stands for first, outer, inner, last. So let's go ahead and just show you that real quick. So here I have the first, all right, indicated. Um, actually, let me just highlight it here. So these are the first terms of... Um, these two binomials, okay, so those are the first. So we have uh, FO, right, so first outer, okay, so the outer would be these two terms right here indicated by this green arc. And then we have what, first outer inner, so the inner would be this times this, okay, and then last would be the last of this one and the last of this binomial right there. Okay, now of course these are complex numbers, but just treat them as two binomials. Okay, so let's go ahead and just actually do this then. So we have negative five times negative two. So we'll just write this right here for now. Then we're going to uh, go negative five times uh, positive two i is gonna be negative five times positive two i. We'll write that there. And then the inner is gonna be negative i times negative two. We'll write that here. And then we have negative i times two i. So we'll put that right there. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and start cleaning this up. So we have uh, negative 5 times negative 2, of course, is positive 10. Negative 5 times positive 2i is negative 10i. And then here we have negative i times negative 2. That would be a positive 2i. And then here I have negative i times a positive 2i. That's going to be negative 2i squared. Okay, so at this point, you can see we have two... Uh, um, imaginary numbers, so we can combine these here in a second. We have a real number. Now we have to figure out what to do with this. Now this is not that difficult. So the main idea here is that when you see i squared, we have to remember that uh, by definition, uh, an imaginary number is defined as i, or component i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So if we square both sides, we can see that i squared is equal to negative 1. So we're simply going to replace this i squared with a negative 1. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, let me go ahead and just walk this down. So here is our problem. Matter of fact, let me show you here. I didn't uh, uh, show you this right here. Let me go ahead and combine like terms. We have negative 10i plus 2i gives us negative 8i. Okay, so we're nice and uh, simple as we could be at, up to this point, except for this i squared. Let's go ahead and address that right now. So we have negative 2 times i squared. Again, we're going to um, uh, substitute a negative 1 for i squared, so now that gives us 10 plus negative 8i plus negative 2 times negative 1, which of course is a positive 2. And now we can just simply just clean this up. So we have 10 plus negative 8i plus 2 is 10, and 2 of course is 12 plus negative 8i. So this is perfectly fine as an answer, or you could write it this way, 12 minus 8i. So um, hopefully got this right. Again, uh, this is something you absolutely need to know on uh, this praxis. And also, too, you know, a lot of you are going to be uh, probably teaching Algebra 1, maybe even beyond Algebra 1. And you're going to have to introduce your students to imaginary numbers and complex roots. So hopefully this was pretty easy. But uh, there is so much more uh, that you need to know to be fully ready for this ex uh, exam. So please check out my uh, test prep course. Uh, at least you can kind of see what's in it. It's a huge amount of math, but whether it's my course or another course, make sure you prepare well, even if you're strong in math, which I assume you are, because you just don't want to rely by memory. You got to do a ton of practice problems and review a lot of material so you don't end up failing the exam, okay? And how many people actually take these exams and get a little bit overconfident and fail? Plenty, okay? You want to over-prepare and it's not just good just for the exam, it's good for you know your profession as well, right? You want to be as strong as possible uh, in terms of uh, mathematics because you know I'm assuming you are going to be a middle school math teacher. Okay, so I definitely wish you all the best on this particular practice exam and your education career. Thank you for your time and have a great day.